All right, so this is take two. Natalia uh, sent the firmware for the enhanced version. So I'm gonna try that out. I've got it here on my SD card. And again, you have to use Windows with the Nexteon editor because Mac OS makes some hidden files. So uh, let's see what happens. Just realized I'm wearing earplugs. I'm probably talking pretty loud. Let's see, yep. okay, so copy SD, so it's just copying off the SD card. I realized yesterday you weren't able to read this because uh, it was super saturated. Um, we'll see once, you know, Natalia's uh, background is black instead of white here. So I'll kind of just read off. It's just copying off the SD card right now. Um, so the size is probably in bytes. Uh, wow, 3.8 megabytes. So that is very large, but whatever. Cool, it says update succeeded. So I guess now you turn it off again. I've never really used the Nexteon before. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just turn it off by just unplugging the grid charger because that unpowers the device. I presume that'll work. And then I guess I take this out. Let's see, plug it back in. There we go. And cool, it's running, it's upside down. Okay. So, let's put it this way. And, uh, okay, so I'm gonna, I'm not sure if any of this is in frame. Move that, there we go. And I will say the next one, I'm just kind of looking at the screen here. It looks a lot better in person than it looks in the viewfinder. I'm not sure why that is. And of course, yesterday you couldn't see it at all. There's kind of a haze in the viewfinder here that uh, I'm not really seeing in person, so uh, don't let that fool you. See if I can get it at an angle where it, it's probably just reflecting the light. Um, yeah, I think it's just reflecting my lights from overhead, so we'll get it to where you can't see those, whatever. Uh, okay, so right here, I've got these two jumpers here. This is basically telling uh, the board that um, the key turned on. Uh, and of course, uh, can't do that while I'm grid charging. Um, so, cause that'll, that'll make it unhappy. So I'm gonna unplug the grid charger and um, turn the key on now. Okay, so there's our key on. And I imagine I probably have the transmit and receive lines backwards cause it's not updating. So let's see, flip those around. And then we'll probably go ahead and, okay, oh, well, there it is. So we're getting data now. That's nice that it's very fault tolerant with the data. Okay, so the correct wiring then, uh, just right, you know, right now, because we haven't made cables um, from left to right, so closest to the USB cable is black, and then yellow, and then blue, and then red. So that's ground, and then either transmit, and then either receive, you know. So anyway, the leftmost is ground, the right one is uh, five volts. Cool, so there is our 184 volts. Uh, I did notice that uh, LI display is not turned on. So it looks like um, Natalia has in the code right now that when you enable um, the LI display that the four by 20 turns off. I think I was mixing the words up there. So it looks like you use one display or the other, which is totally fine. Uh, oh, we have a screen button. Let's see what this does. Let's see what this looks like in the viewfinder. Again, it looks much better in person anyway. Uh, okay, screen. I'm not sure if that does anything. Well, I can see that I'm pushing the button. Um, I'm not sure what it does, but no, very neat. Um, cool, it's, it, so we, we're using it. And uh, this LED four here is telling you the idle CPU time. So you want this LED to be on uh, all the time when the key's on. Uh, when you go into grid charging mode, so here I'm gonna turn the key off. Oh, cool, nice. Let's see, I didn't get to read the whole thing, so let's see what it says. We'll pop you back on. Oops, I, uh... So, uh, somehow we got stuck in a state there, let's see. Oh, probably just browned out, okay. Interesting, okay, let's see what's up. What is up, yo? Okay. We're on, we've updated, we've got the state of charge gauge, and now we've turned off, and version, oh, it's just the LIBCM version, nice, cool. Let's do grid charging. 
here. Yeah, cool. Uh, let's see if the screen works here. Now, I think the biggest thing, I mean, obviously this is just, uh, the visual framework is just proof of concept stuff, but uh, this is good, it actually works. So I haven't actually <laughs> tested that it works. Uh, it's just a standard UART header here, but it's nice. The fault tolerance seems really nice. Um, so let, let's see, let's go back over into key on mode and we will pop this on. Oops, there we go. Yeah, it seems like we're getting stuck in a state where the screen won't turn back on. So it seems like right now, if you were to turn the key on and off quickly, well, no, because this is powered by the 12 volt IMA, so you're not going to see this problem. Okay, it's probably an LIBCM problem. Okay, so we have data now. So now we're going to just corrupt the heck out of it by unplugging. I don't actually know which is the data. Um, this um, screen should probably display whether or not the grid charger is actually charging. I can tell that it is not right now. Yeah. So let's see. Now, now that we've really garbled up the data, let's go ahead and turn this off. Yeah, it works just fine. So this is good. There's obviously some kind of um, fault tolerance error checking. I don't know. Again, I haven't really looked at the LI display other than just that it would appear to work and it does appear to work. So that's good. Uh, I'm not sure why it's not grid charging. Of course, this is uh, probably LIBCM related. Um, well, let's see, is it 78? Let me, nah, whatever, no big deal. Um, yeah, okay, good first impressions here. Um, I think that, you know, if this screen button should be working, it's certainly not, but that's okay. Um, and yeah, cool, that's good. We've got it, we've got a framework. Thank you so much. You've Save me all the time I need uh, when, I, when I was going to have to go and do this and learn how to do it. So cool. We'll get some other screens. If you look at uh, my post number one in this thread, um, I had a couple of other screens that I was looking at. Um, obviously, this is the for the person who is not geeky and technical, but uh, one of mine that I really want to do is the per cell uh, state where it's like green yellow or red based on which cell is the most unbalanced or whatever. So what are we, we've got key on. Awesome. Very awesome. Cool. It works. It works in not your test setup. So cool. Thank you so much. This looks great.